Hello, Sang After Artists. I hope August has been kind to you and you're doing what you can to stay cool, positive, and productive. I'd like to start by acknowledging a bright light, one of our own, who transitioned on August 28th. Mr. Chadwick Bozeman represented the very best of what it means to be an artist, a man, and a strong, resilient, purposeful human being. Despite his battling colon cancer, he selflessly rose each and every day to fulfill his dream, his destiny, of being a part of our worldwide community. We salute him and honor him for his eternal contributions to the annals of history. We will forever be grateful to him and his family for his gifts and his sacrifice. Now, I know it's not quite the summer season any one of us had expected, and I know the world still looks plenty rough. But I want to remind you that our foundation is here for the entire sag after community as a free resource for union members through thick and thin good times and bad. What many of you know, and some of you don't, however, is that we started 35 years ago with the sole mission of supporting sag after artists as a nonprofit charity separate from the union. Our foundation provides financial assistance and free training and classes available to every SAG after artist at any point in their careers. And in this unfortunate world of COVID, during these strange times of uncertain work and opportunity, I want to assure you that our support for you will never waver. We will get through this. And as I've said before, we will do so together. So with that said, here's where we are with our relief fund. To date, we've distributed over $5.7 million in emergency aid to more than 6,100 SAG after artists in need. Applications are currently taking a week to process, so please remember to check the site for updates and rest assured that help is on the way. Also, if you are in a position to help with the fund, we continue to raise money. 100% of your contributions go directly to your fellow sag after artists in need. So we greatly appreciate you stepping up for those in our shared community who will benefit from your kindness and generosity. I would like to personally thank those of you who have participated in our home stage initiative so far. Just as a reminder, this is a social media archive that documents the various ways in which we as performers are using our homes to get through our shared COVID-19 crisis. I encourage you to make use of this activity as we continue to stay indoors. I've seen a lot of fun stuff. So if you'll indulge me, let's cue the music. From pianos and recitals to impressions and spoofs to merengue and tap and some old hula hoops. From silent comedy and original songs, the short films you all make, to James Joyce and Hamlet, and every little step that you take. Yes, we're in a pandemic, but we must continue to stay wise, and our craft and imagination needs some exercise. So keep dreaming and creating. There's plenty of ways to engage, and be sure to keep posting because it's your home, your stage. Well, there's only so much summer left, so I hope you'll go out and enjoy some of it safely. I'll check in again next month, and I hope in the interim you'll keep your eyes on our website for any programs or panels that might capture your attention. In a moment, I'll end today's chat in the same way we began in tribute to Mr. Bozeman from a Conversations q and a in 2017, when he came to the foundation offices alongside his martial cast to share his craft and connect with our community. I hope you'll take a moment to view it. So till September, stay healthy, stay connected, and if you're feeling sick or symptomatic, stay home. Grace and peace. Uh, Felicia Rashad was one of my teachers. And she would always say, you know, search for the love in your character and in every scene. Um, and so 
to me that has been it's not as as obvious um a a statement when you think about it because sometimes you're like this scene is not about a love but the, you know <laughs> there is no love in this scene but what i have found is that she was absolutely right that there's always um beneath beneath everything every character is seeking a uh, connection and love in some place it might actually be outside of this scene and be um you know affecting the scene that you're actually in but if you search for it in the scene you're in you will always find it in some place so search for the love in your scene search for the love in the character